you know, analysis of the dunk and landing style of Golden Child, a.k.a. the highest fucking jumper in TFB. Um, I don't know the dude personally, but I've been following him for a while because he comes from the same part of the world that I come from, being Seattle area. So when a dude with 50-inch jump from Seattle is on TFB, obviously I'm a huge fan, but I mean, he's known about at this point. Anyways, so he goes on to do all kinds of crazy dunks and crazy dunk shows with his 50-inch vertical, but he's disappeared for a couple of years, and this is his first show back that I know of. He hasn't done anything for two years, and he just came back and did this. And you can see he still has that 50-inch vertical head at the rim or above the rim. Um, however, he's changed his landing style. He's adjusted his landing style, and look, he's doing cat landings, which is the what, what I like to call this four on the floor, bam, cat landing. And he's also doing backslide landings, which, you know, Tim Duncan and Dwayne Wade are all about that. And I, I personally like them a lot as well. And my understanding of why he's doing this, he's clearly been through injuries. Um, right, you're coming down with a thousand pounds of force, and that's going to compress the cartilage in the knees. Basically, you do this once you start, maybe when you show signs of arthritis or to stop the stop arthritis slow it down just in other words protect your joints um so my advice to younger dunkers is to just do this right away and don't wait until you tear your knee and your ankle to start doing it because i mean it might be too late to switch at that point either way just something to think about and shout out to Golden Child because this dude's amazing and he's an inspiration for not only how high he jumps, but his ability to come back and continue and improve his style after all these years. So peace out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah.